I feel like I'm like, <gasps> like I can't breathe. I don't know if I like the whole this. <laughs> um, sorry about that. I do apologize. Tell me what do you really want? Do you want? Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another haul, but this time around it's going to be from ASOS. I've just done a big massive shop on ASOS Man and just had a look, see what's trending and see what's new in and stuff like that, just to kind of get an idea of what the trends are looking like at the moment. Obviously I, f I follow a lot of people on Instagram and a lot of their stuff seemed to be from ASOS, so I thought, you know what it is, I'll just do a big massive haul. Just get stuff that I need for like autumn winter. Obviously it's getting like the cold days and I've got absolutely nothing in my wardrobe that really is going to keep us warm. I've mainly got like summer stuff because I was planning on going on a summer holiday with Nairi. As you can tell, that's not really happened. But we are going to go and it's going to be like next year. The reason we haven't been this year is... Because we just thought, you know, it's like Christmas, we're going to have to spend a lot of money on people for Christmas and stuff like that. And it's going to leave us short. We're not going to be able to obviously enjoy it as much as we want to. We're obviously having limitations to, again, money. So, yeah, where was I going with that? So, um, oh yeah, so basically I've, just, I've bought some stuff for like autumn, winter, because I've got nothing. I mean, apart, apart from coats, I've got coats in my wardrobe. That's as much warmth as I'm going to get. So yeah, I've just got a big, massive bag full of clothes. I'm just going to dive straight in and I'll show you what I've got. I'm going to obviously talk you through what I've got first and then obviously I'll try all the stuff on and show you what it looks like on. Whether I've gone right with sizes again this time around, I don't, I don't know. I'd like to think I know my size, but judging from the last haul I did, it didn't really go to plan. So. And um, yeah, just a big, massive ASOS haul. Let's go. So the first thing I picked up um, is an oversized striped shirt from Top Man. I think the I think the brand's Top Man. Yeah, Top Man. Picked this up. It's see it was blue it, on the website, but <laughs> um, sorry about that. I do apologise. So yeah, it says it was blue on the website, but it when it's come, it's actually like a, a like a purple lilac colour. It's a striped shirt, and it's plain in some places and striped in others. It's like mixed match. It's not all. It's not like split down the middle. And um, so as you can see, this side is striped, then the arms plain, and then this side's plain with the striped pocket, and then on the back, around the neck collar side. It's got like a striped bit and again, plain on the block, plain on the back. So I thought this was just, just look dead cool, um, it's dead trendy, um, it's not like the normal shirt you'd go for, which is what I, I kind of do, kind of go for out there stuff. And I got an extra large in this just to give it that like extra bagginess because I don't really like my shirts to be skin tight. And this was £25, that's a fairly good price for like a shirt and the quality feels dead nice as well, like, it feels like a dead thick cotton so i'm pleased about that i think this is going to be a successful pickup i know i've got like a um an event coming up soon that i want to i was planning on wearing this this was one of the choices anyway that i was going to choose to wear so hopefully when i try it on i do really like it next thing i got i was thinking more like winter winter vibes like cozy going out like to the corner shop for a pint of milk or something like that that sort of just basically, it's like a navy cord fleece truck suit. These are the trousers, it's just like a nice blue colour. Soft, dead thick, gonna keep you warm. And it's got like cuffed bottoms and a nice waistband with a drawstring. I've got these trousers in an extra small. And the reason I downsized on the trousers is because on the model, I think he's wearing a certain size and they looked dead baggy, so I thought, oh. I've not got like the biggest legs in the world. When they've come, they're actually bigger than I thought they were going to be with for an extra small. So hopefully they fit, but yeah, I've got the trousers for £25. Bit expensive, but I mean, if it's going to keep you warm, it feels like dead thick quality as well, so it should carry you through. This is the other part of it, so 
This is the jacket. It's got like a nice little half zip and a little high neck on it as well, which I like. Keeps your neck warm. It's got your cuffed sleeves and it's also cuffed at the bottom. Obviously just to like hug you a little bit and not look, make it look like it's drowning you. Give it a little bit of structure. So I got the jacket in a small. Is it a small? Jacket in a small and I got that for £28. Altogether, it's about 50 something pound and with this sort of fabric as well i kind of like stay away from it because it makes us feel like i'm suffocating like every time my, like navy's got it on or something like that i feel like i'm like, <gasps> like i can't breathe so i'm a bit skeptical of whether i'm gonna like this or not so the next purchase i got right which i'm a bit disappointed about because i don't know what the hell is going on but i got a oversized blazer on the model it looked light gray which I liked, which is why why I clicked on it. And then I looked in the description of the blazer. It said the colour was black. And I was like, eh, it couldn't be further from black. And then, when it's come, it's like a green. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Like, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. But, it's like a green, corky, textured colour. Which, I'm not really a fan of. Because if I wanted a green blazer, I would have ordered a green blazer. I think that one's gonna go back. It's just a, it's just completely different to what it looked like on the model. I mean, I'll try it on and I'll show you what it looks like on, but... But anyway, I got this in a... I got this in a chest 42 regular, and I think this was 70 pound. Again, do I want to keep a blazer that's 70 pound that I'm probably not 100% sure I want? No. It might be for you, but it's, it's not for me. My next purchase um, was a risky one. I saw it and I was like, will it suit us, will it not? I've seen like something similar on other people and it looked nice on them. I just thought, you know what it is, try me luck. If I don't like it, what's the worst that can happen? All I have to do is send it back. Anyway, this is an oversized knitted snowman jumper. Again, I didn't read because it says oversized already. So what does Daniel do when it says oversized? Sizes up. Extra large I got in this. Idiot. I wish I could show you it full length, but like that's the bottom. And it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. <laughs> yeah, it's massive. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm like, will it look nice with oversized trousers? But yeah, it's just like a, a light blue snowman design. When I bought it as well, I thought, you know, with like Christmas coming up and stuff like that, it might be like an excuse to also use it if we're having a Christmas jump idea at work or something like that. Just thought, you know, I'd get in the spirit. And this was £35. It's dead heavy and dead thick. So it definitely would keep you warm. And it's definitely, definitely good quality. Where's this from? Oh, top man. If it's a nice colour on us and a nice design on us, and I do actually generally like it, I probably will just size down. But yeah, bought that. Very, very risky one. So again, thinking out there, thinking trendy. I saw these trousers and I thought, do you know what it is? They look actually really, really nice on the model. I'm just going to grab them and see what they look like on me. These are the straight leg joggers. It's got like a square design of brown and beige and it like mix, mix and matches all the way down on the leg which I thought looked really really cool and I didn't actually realise that it was like in fleece again so a bit worried on whether I'm going to like them or not or whether they're going to be a little bit too um, soft because I hate that like I said before I just I kind of just I kind of get past the fabric it just it makes us feel ill I'll try them on see what they look like but they look really cool and they're uh, quite flimsy so I'm hoping they're not um, too baggy on us and they don't look stupid so I got these in a size small. So these have got like a, a nice little drawstring as well to obviously like pull you in at the waist. And the leg at the bottom is just flown so it sits on, it'll sit on top of you, on your trainers or shoes or whatever. It's got like a nice little... Is that real or not? Right, a fake pocket. So that's not gonna come to any use. <laughs> I think these were 40 quid I believe. Um, quite expensive for trousers so I am just going to see what they look like on so I saw these online and I thought I don't really have any like nice dressy small trousers to go with like anything on the top of and um, so I thought do you know what it is purchase them see if they suit you if not again 
Send them back. So these are the taper trousers in cream. And they've got like a nice little pleat um, going down either side of them. Yeah, I just thought I've not really I've not really got any small trousers. I mean, I've got jeans and I've got joggers. Yeah, I thought these are a nice colour, nice cream colour, and they necessarily would go with anything, any wardrobe. If I put some like white trainers with them, I thought they would look quite cool as well. Anything to go on top. Just kind of like dress up my outfits. Going for that like smart cash. But they look quite tapered, um, fitted. So I got size waist 30, length 30. These were actually discounted from £25 to £18. So I think that's quite good. It's good. It's quite a good purchase for um, trousers like this. I mean, they look, they feel like they're good quality. I've got two back bottom pockets. I, I mean, like any other trousers. I thought they would look really, really nice and good price for them as well. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. Really, really rooting for these ones because, like I say, I've not got anything like that in my wardrobe. Yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Right again, with sizes. Um, I kind of haven't really thought about one. I feel like I just, do you know what I feel like I need to have a word with myself because I either get too small or too large. I just never stop to think like, well, okay, that's what the model's wearing, so this is what I need. But it just never works out. So anyway, so I've bought a sleeveless v-neck jumper in a lilac colour um, and I got this in a large. It is massive but i've got a solution to the problem but what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to wear it with like an oversized shirt with long sleeves and hope to god it looks good with that if not i do actually like it enough to send it back and reorder the right size for me that's the bottom of it it's got the same design on as it has with the collar. I got this for £25, which I think is a really, really good purchase. I'll see what this looks like on and hope for the best. The next thing I got was some wide leg crop trousers in like a beige cream colour. They honestly feel like really good fabric. Again, Top Man, no surprise there. It's what it is, right? Top Man used to be my favourite shop to go into and then they like and then they closed it down. I feel like I've got no shops in the high street anymore. I think the only thing I've got is River Island, and I didn't like River Island. There's very odd stuff that I used to go in there for. I feel like they're not picking up because of the the curtain, but like they're beige colour. And so these look promising, um, which I'm really happy about. And they've got like a nice little drawstring as well to pull in. I got these in 30 30 again. That's my size. And these were 30 quid, I think. Again, small trousers. I'm very funny with trousers because obviously my legs are quite skinny. So if they have got some sort of like, if they like make this look a little bit thicker than what they are, I'll be happy. <coughs> <coughs> the next thing I got, um, I thought I'd just pick up another set of beige trousers, but these are like a, a cord, very smart, wide leg, and I don't know if you can see the pleat on them. So they've got that sort of design on it. Um, look really, really nice. They're dead soft. The only thing is, they do feel like good quality, but they feel like they're, they're quite flimsy. So I'll have to see what they look like on. Um, I got these in a size extra small. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it's to do with the model, what the model was wearing. But these were £28, yeah. See what they're like on, but again, whether I like them, I don't know. So the next thing I got was based upon the different colour jeans that I've got at this moment in time. I've got me blacks, I've got me light blues. So I thought I'd go for like a dark blue pair. And they're like barrel jeans. Um, obviously you won't be able to see the design, but they're just quite wide leg. And they're giving us like 90s vibes. And I've actually not got a pair of jeans in this colour. I got these in a 30-30. And these were 32 quid. Quite good for a pair of jeans to be fair. I mean they feel dead good quality, dead thick. I think these would look quite cool with a pair of trainers on. Um, like a nice white Nike pair of trainers. The last thing I got was an oversized long sleeve polo shirt. I just liked the design of it. I thought it looked quite 90s. I thought it would look really nice with the blue jeans that I've just bought. And the collar got a nice design to it as well. It's got three button design and it's like just a really, really nice collar. And I got the size large in this and this was 20 quid. I've never actually bought anything like this before. I've seen it in the new in on ASOS so thought why not 
what I found is whilst I've been shuttling, a lot of the things that I do click on are 90s. So maybe I was born in the wrong decade. I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is I'll show you is what all the clothes look like on. Maybe I'll style them, maybe I won't. Um, see what I feel like when I'm putting them on. They might not seem like the warmest clothes for open winter, but you know, I've seen them, I like them. So I'm going to go and try them on now. So this is the lilac stripe and plain uh, shirt. I really love this one. I, honestly, the first thing I've tried it on, I just absolutely love it. I just think it looks dead cool, dead trendy. I feel like it falls in the right places with it being oversized. Obviously I've got the bigger size in it because I just wanted it a little bit bigger. But I do honestly think it complements my body type. See, I'm really, really pleased with that. I really like the the way like obviously how it changes from the stripe to the plain. So this is the, the front of it. Obviously I'm not gonna button it up, I'll just show you what it might look like buttoned up. Even like buttoned up, it looks really really good. Do you know what I mean? Or you can like tuck it in, half tuck it in, so it's one side sticking out, one side's tucked in, gives it that extra bulkiness at the sides. You can leave it open and at the back it's just plain and then obviously when it gets to the like the neck area, back to stripe again. I just absolutely love it. I've just kind of like paired it with like a plain white t-shirt and it's just me, me black jeans. Like most of the stuff you will see needs ironed. Obviously with being packaged up, I don't want to be one to iron it before I try it on in case I send anything back and they might not accept it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this one. So this is the sleeveless v-neck knitted jumper um, in it's like a lilac colour. Do you know what it is, right? I was actually worried about this one because I thought it might be a little bit too oversized. It's actually a really nice fit. An like, oversized look is always, always going to be in. Like oversized trousers, oversized jumper, oversized shirt. I honestly think it actually looks really, really nice. I've just kind of like pulled it away from my oversized shirt, which is what I said earlier on the video it might look nice with. And I've just kept my black jeans on. I was thinking when I got out of the bag, mm, I might send this back. But I honestly think I might keep this. It looks really, really nice, really trendy. So this is how it falls on the back. I really like how there's a stripe on the, the neck and at the bottom. It just gives it that little bit more detail. I'm very, very pleased about this one. So I, I definitely think I'm going to keep it. Right, okay, so this is the oversized knitted jumper with the snowman design on. I'm not sure. I think it looks nice, but I just don't know if it's too oversized. It's absolutely massive. And now that I've got it on, I'm not sure if I like the design. I don't know if it's like a bit too out there. Obviously it is Christmas and it's probably the best time to obviously wear it now. I don't know, I think it's going to be one of them things where like, I'm like, probably a second opinion to see what someone else thinks. Because at the minute, I'm like half and half. Like I like it, but will I wear it? All I've done is pair it with my black jeans. Obviously, because I, I don't think you need anything out there on the bottom. Come on, you've literally got it all going on in here. I can't remember what I paid for it. Another thing is, like, I paid for it going to match up to the amount of times I wear it. I don't know. It's just dead comfortable, dead thick. It definitely keeps you warm. I mean, I've got nothing underneath the top. The it falls on the back. Let us know what you think, obviously, in the comments below, whether you think it looks ridiculous or whether you think it's worth the keep. So this is the oversized grey slash black slash green blazer. Which one is? I like the fit. It's light and airy. It flows. I think I've done really well. I got a 42 regular, I think, what I said before. I think if I was going to get one, it would be this size. But it's the colour. I don't know, maybe I'm, I've got it on with the wrong things, maybe I'm going to brighten it up a bit. But honestly, for the price that I was, I think it was 70 quid. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get the wear out of it. It's not something I initially chose in the first place, I thought it was great. Honestly, click the link right in the description for the blazer and you'll see what I saw. Because honestly, it's completely different to what this is. I might as well just send it back and get what I initially wanted, which, which was a green one. Um, because for 70 quid, it's not like I've got an absolute bargain with this and I just have to keep it. Looks out at the sides there, just kind of flows out, um, which is what I like. And I like the sleeves coming down, just covering my hands a little bit. If I pair it up with the right things, 
I might end up keeping it. At this moment in time, it's going back. The next thing I pull on is the oversized green polo shirt. It's got like a 90s design on it. I think it's 90s anyway. Correct us if I'm wrong. Honestly, I absolutely love this. I love the colour. I love the fit of it. I think it, it doesn't drown us at all. It's oversized, which is what I really, really like. It's not like the most winter thing that I could have bought, but it looked nice underneath something. See if like, I'm going out somewhere and then we'll go out and eat. Take my jacket off. I've got this on. It is simple, but the design on the front brings it out and obviously the colour. This is the bark and how it falls on the bark. Just get my black jeans on with it, I think it looks nice with my black jeans. It's just a really nice fit on it, I think it's obviously good for my, my body type at the moment. It um, makes us look a little bit more bulky than what I am. I'm definitely a fan of this and I'm definitely going to keep it. I've got a button down so if you want to unbutton it and have some button underneath, you can do that. Or if you want to tuck it in and have it just button out a little bit. This is another thing that I like about it. Obviously because it's oversized, they've um, stitched the sleeve a little bit more down on the shirt, which is what I like, it gives it just that. Is it American football that we're wearing on? There will be ball on it anyway, so I don't know what I'm on about. I'm a fan of this one, I'm definitely going to keep it, and I literally can't wait to wear it, so yeah. Very pleased about that one. Well these are the wide leg twill trousers in like a creamy beige colour. I don't know what I think of these, because it's just fall here. I don't know if they need ironed out just to stop them from like bulking out at the sides but I just think at the moment they look stupid on. I'm not really a fan of these. I mean they're a nice fit. This is the back. Um, they are a nice fit and I got these in a 30-30. It might just need ironed out but I don't want to chance it. If I send them back they might not accept it. If it's going to be wide leg, I just want more of a roundness to them instead of them going off to the sides. It would be a shame to send them back. The fit of them is just dead nice. This was the last thing I tried on in the top half, so this is what I've just kept on to be fair. The colour is nice to go with this, but uh, whether the top goes with the pants or not, I think is debatable. Definitely keep these ones aside, have a think, because at the minute I'm not sure. That's the... So these are the baggy trousers in beige. Judging by the first look, I don't know if the makers look longer than what I am. I don't know if it's just because I haven't got any trainers on. But I just think they just fall. I just kind of put it with um, an oversized shirt just to see what it would look like on. The only is I do really like them, it's just, I don't know if they just fall too much and make it a little bit, I've got too much of a straight leg. Get more if they like bagged a little bit um, and were a little bit more up. It might just need a quick fix, like put some trainers on, let the trousers fall on the trainer and see if it bulks it up then. I should have put my trainers on actually, because I think they're a nice fit on my legs, they don't make us look skinny. They don't make us look huge. It looks nice with the shirt. I think if I was gonna put it with an oversized shirt, I'd probably get in a big ass shirt just so it like falls. Maybe keep the shirt open so it like flows. I just basically took my t shirt in there just so I'm not getting any flush out. I don't want that on YouTube. This is what they look like on the front, and this is what they look like at the back. Um, I just think I need to play around with them a little bit and see if they're worth keeping because. These will go with quite a lot of the clothes that I've got now. Happy with these, it's not the worst choice that I've made. And I've not actually bought any any trousers like this before. Um, this is very new to me. I was always the type of person that obviously wore like skinny jeans and stuff like that. So the fact that I'm wearing baggy stuff now is honestly a shock to the system. So I'm just getting used to the, the baggy trousers as I leave. So these are the barrel blue jeans. I don't know if I like the whole this the whole jean movement at the same time. But then again, is that the barrel style? Um, does it move? Um, this is the front of the jeans. And this is the back. But I like the colour. So I've just left me white shirt on with these. They're a nice bogginess to the leg. Again, this is going to have to be a second opinion that I'm going to have to get. I think if I was to send them back, the only thing that I would send them back for Four is obviously this. These are like a 90s blue colour. These will go with pretty much anything to be fair. Because they're oversized, I'll just pull it with like an oversized shirt. It is just a case of playing around and see what looks good with them. These are the straight leg joggers. They're like blocked off with cream and uh, brown. Not actually a fan of these, you know. I thought they were going to be a little bit more structured. 
obviously with the, the style of them, the way the fall and stuff like that, they like ripple and it didn't really bring out the, the full design of them. If they were a little bit more structure, less fabric, honestly, if they were like that, I would keep them, but it's the fact that they, they fall and it kind of just ruins the design of them, so I don't think I'm going to keep these. They would probably keep you warm as the material feels quite thick. So you'd have to put something plain on your top of um, with this sort of thing because obviously there's a lot going on. It's a nice fit on the leg. Um, I don't know if you agree. If you like them, I mean, go ahead, grab them. This is what it looks like at the back. Like I say, it's a really trendy design and stuff like that. I mean, there's no point keeping things that I'm half asked about, so I'm just gonna, yes, I'm just gonna send, this, send these back. So these are the navy fleece bottoms. I uh, love the fit on these. I just think, honestly, this is gonna be just one of them chill outfits. I thought the fabric was gonna suffocate us and make us feel like I'm trapped, but it's actually really, really nice. It's good quality, it keeps us warm. Nice color, nice fit. Don't drown us. Um, this is the block. It um, obviously goes with the top nicely. A big fan of these. these this is just an easy option for me um, to keep. There's a, a bit of a drop crotch on them, which is nice. Um, it's not too much. Well, this is the top for the fleece tracksuit. I think this is a really, really, really nice fit as well. It falls in the right places, you, and I'm just a massive fan. You've got your half neck zip. Um, I've just kept it down because I've got a white t-shirt underneath, which I think looks really nice with it. Um, but if you wanted to double up, try not to be, be hurt myself. Looks nice done up as well, just obviously if you're going out and it's them windy days, you just want to keep your neck warm. See, it doesn't have to be anything out of this world, it literally has just a blue, plain tracksuit. Honestly, the material feels amazing, just it nice and warm. I think I'm just going to stay in this for the rest of the day, just chill. It's just dead comfortable. It's a bit expensive, but... You know, now that I've tried it on, it kind of justifies the price. It is what it is. So yeah, definitely keep this one. So that is the end of the Cloven Hall video. I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment and share the video. Um, I'd really, really appreciate the support. It's been a success, I think. I think like some of the things, obviously, I'm a bit undecided on. Some of them might go back, some of them I might end up keeping if I pair it up with the right things and stuff like that. You know, obviously ordering clothes online can be quite difficult. So all the stuff that I've bought today was in the trending and new in uh, section on the website of ASOS. So if you just fancy just obviously having a scan through, just seeing what else is there, honestly get yourselves away because there's some really good stuff on there. Um, the only reason why I didn't get more stuff is because when I looked at my basket, it was pretty expensive. Yeah, that's more money spent. Do you know what it is? I need it. And things like this tracksuit, it'll do us for a long time until it gets scraggy and old and then I'll just chuck it out. So what I'm going to do is, um, if you check the description box below, you'll have all the links to all the clothes that I bought today. And then if you fancy getting the stuff that I got today because you like it. To save yourself from scrolling through pages upon pages on the website, just go and click the link. Hopefully you like the clothes that I've bought the day. There's a massive section on the new in and trend and there's really some really, really nice stuff there. So just get yourselves over and have a look. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers.